Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to bring you a care and propagating guide on the Elodia Aquarium plant. Let's get started. Elodia, aka Anacris, is a popular and easy to care for aquarium plant. If you're looking for a fast growing and easy to care for plant, then this is definitely the plant for you. They do not need CO2 or any type of fertilizer, and pretty much all you need to do is put them in water. Easy, right? Well, actually, there's a bit more than that. I'll get to that in just a moment. Elodia is most often used as a floating plant as these guys provide lots of hiding areas on the surface, and that is great if you are trying to breed fish. This plant grows insanely fast. When I first got mine, they were around 8 inches tall, and the next day they were around 10 inches. I have found that they tend to grow faster in cold water conditions, not sure why, but that seems to be the case for a lot of people. However, your normal water temperature would be just fine as these plants are pretty hardy. It's best to grow Elodia near the surface, but don't plant them in as the roots will definitely rot. Instead, put them near the bottom and the plant will send down long, white roots which will anchor it down. It's actually pretty cool to see the roots slowly develop and then, after a while, your tank is going to be full of those white roots. For the lighting, I would recommend a minimum of 10 hours bright or low lighting. Again, Elodia is pretty hardy, so pretty much any type of light will work. Elodia is very common to find. I got mine at the local fish store. They're sold pretty much anywhere and you could even get them online. Another thing I love about Elodia is how great it is for purifying water. These plants are so good at removing excess nutrients and ammonia in the water column, they're like a natural filter that is constantly keeping ammonia in check. So you may want to think about getting them if you need a water purifier. As for tank mates, most fish would be perfectly fine, except for the usual goldfish, cichlids, etc. Those type of troublemakers. If your fish only slightly nibbles the plant, then it shouldn't be a big of a deal. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a wonderful day everyone and I will see you all in the next video.